shall i start good afternoon everybody uh, thank you for being here this afternoon and uh, today i am going to talk about image library for navigation system of vision in the article using transfusion data Uh, this is my outline. Uh, first of all, I will uh, give a brief introduction about my overall research project and uh, the previous work about image key blurry and the camera motion and then how to determine the point spread function and optimization of the uh, point spread function and find the result and discussion. Uh, this is a part of a large research project which is focused on uh, refinding for vision impaired people. And my part is a real time object detection and part identification using edge detection techniques in image sourcing. And we focus on the challenges uh, which can be uh, faced uh, in path finding, uh, such as a shadow condition and the low light condition and obstacles on the path and the blur blurry image. So in this Presentation. I'm going to talk about image deep learning. Uh, these are the examples for the uh, blood measure. In this first, we are only concerned about the edges, and parts, and uh, edges of the doorway. And these are the previous work. I uh, use for image key blurring. Most of this work has done for the, based on the uh, based on the uh, photography industry, uh, and they have used the high resolution camera and the uh, with the additional hardware additional hardware. And in our case, we are going, we are working in real time environment with a low resolution major. Uh, and when the resolution is high, the computational cost and the complexity is very high. So we are using the low resolution image for the purpose of reducing, uh, computational cost and the complexity of target. And the camera motion deep learning is the uh, most important topic in computer vision in computer vision and this can be categorized into two uh, specific parts, uh, blind deconvolution and non blind deconvolution. Uh, in blind deep learning estimate the both uh, motion and the latent image uh, simultaneously, actually uh, estimating two unknowns from uh, one single image even will cause problem. Uh, and in non-blind deconvolution, we know the black kernel. We are also going to use the black kernel for image blurring in our method. Uh, nowadays, most of uh, devices have the built-in sensors, and these are the orientation of the uh, uh, sorry uh, built-in sensors. Uh, we use uh, a smartphone to our work, and this is the orientation of the. Uh, we, uh, orientation of built-in sensors in the smartphone. And this is the uh, placement of the uh, scene 
with respect to the camera. This is the thing and this is the camera thing. L, here L is the distance between camera and the thing. A and B are the points on the thing uh, with respect to its center. Normally, a camera is moving and the scene is steady, but in our world, we use the opposite of that. And these are the parameters we are using, uh, used to determine the point, point spread function. And these are, uh, AX, Y, Z are linear acceleration components of camera along X, Y and interactive. This uh, Vx, Y, and Z are linear velocity of camera along X, uh, Y, and Z axis. Omega X, Y, Z are angular velocity component of camera along X, uh, Y, and Z axis. And simple Vx, Y, Z are linear velocity component of frame with respect to the a camera along X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, equation 1 uh, represents the linear velocity component of the plane with respect to the camera. And here, uh, the effect of the linear motion of the camera is uh, Vx, Vy, and Z is very small, so we neglect that. And we obtain the equation 2. Then integrating this uh, equation 2 uh, over the explosive time, uh, we get the displacement of the plane and then it is converted into a sister. Once we get the CSF, uh, then we apply the uh, P as the uh, opti optimized particle term optimization to optimize the PSS. And the alignment param parameters is A, A, B, and L. Uh, this is uh, running through these uh, three steps and it is running on here. Converges to a satisfactory field parameter with respect to an image quality, uh, image quality measure. We are using the method in Michael and Athar, Athar, paper, uh, to measure the image quality. These are the results. Uh, we divided the image into four segments and this is the uh, First one is the first part, uh, a PSF of, uh, first part, and the second one is the second part, uh, third one for the third part, and the fourth one is for the fourth part, and center is the middle one. Adaya, uh, Actually, there are slight difference between those DSF functions. Uh, applying the, our method, we get this result and we compare it with the uh, standard deep learning method in building MATLAB and we get uh, a good score for our uh, new method. And these are the results on image, but it's still we have a, a artifact on the image. Uh, then let's move to the next slide and you can see the CA. This is the detection of uh, original image with blur. And this is the detection uh, of our results on image. I apply scanning edge detection method to see But it still have a discontinuity on this one. Uh, this is the initial step 
state of this and we hope to uh, develop this algorithm to reduce large fat in future. And the discussion and limitation, uh, our uh, new method can improve the image quality and the uh, still the artifacts that they are and returns the accuracy and the noise and still the computer data cost is high. The future work, for the future work, uh, we are trying to find the zero velocity point using IMB data to capture the image and reduce the artifact, optimize the computational cost, and finally we are trying to find the optimized automatic motion, uh, motion deep learning algorithm for purpose of the finding. Thank you. Let me can you Hello, hello, I can hear you. Hello. 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 So, if you do a test or mixed class, distance class, if a student asks a question, you will pick your rank up, go to the class and see who's asking the question. That's $700 a year. Yeah. A year. Yeah.